Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's going to be reviewing the new Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Jeep here in Sandy for giving me some time with this Rubicon. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 3.6 liter V6 that goes through an eight-speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 17 around town and then 22 on the highway with power outputs being 285 horsepower and then 260 pound-feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see the vents there on either side in normal Rubicon fashion. And then we've got the new style of grill here, which I think looks really cool. And then you can see with this, you've got the upgraded LED lights. And then same thing there with the turn signal indicator. We've got the upgraded steel bumper here with the recovery points and fog lights. And so putting it all together, it has the same front end as the new Wrangler, which looks good. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 285, 70, 17 in the front and over in the rear. And you can see here with the wheels, you've got this silver, and it's kind of, there's like a satin finish there in the center. I think it looks really sharp. And yeah, these are, these are beefy tires. Let me tell you, they're mud terrains, if you're wondering. And then we do have a solid front axle still. And then look at the fender flare here painted. You've got the Rubicon decal there, Jeep down below, and then the trail rated four x four badge. And then we do have some rock rail protection as well. And then here is the full side view with the Gladiator Rubicon. Now, taking a look at the key fob, we've got our lock and unlock function. We've got the remote start function. You've got the Jeep logo there on the back. And then, of course, you've got the flip out key, which is another cool feature. And popping into the bed, taking a second, you've got protection here from the factory. And then you got LED bed lights as well. Uh, but yeah, really nice setup, super practical. And then the tailgate itself, very light. Got the Jeep logo there, and then you've got these squared taillights. More recovery points here, as well as parking sensors. And so, putting things all together, let me know you guys think about the exterior styling. Kind of just a facelift more than a redesign with the style. And then taking a look at the door panel, you can see the red stitching here with the padding. Then we do have soft touch here at the top. And then we've got the new seats. So they kind of have a different texture compared to before, but still the red stitching. And then, yeah, this is a mid-sized pickup truck, so you guys can see legroom is not horrible, but a little bit more on the cramp side of things. And then we do have a little net. We've got some vents, and then you've got the window controls here with an outlet. And then it looks like we've got a manual window here for the window in the back. And then I do want to comment on this again. I was just in the new Tacoma. This has way more space than the Tacoma. I will say that. And then headroom, it's good. Now take a look at the front door panel again, soft touch here, and then you've got all the red stitching, you've got our mirror adjustments, you've got door lock and unlock, and then we do have blind spot running with the mirrors. And then payload on this is 990 pounds. And then you got the Rubicon logo there. And then yeah, look at all the trim down the center. Power adjustments on the seats. And then I like this here, it's pretty cool. You've got your light control there, and then you got the new trim on the dash, and the steering wheel is manually adjustable. Now, take a look at the steering wheel. We've got soft touch all around, and they got the red stitching down the center. Radio controls on the back. We've got our regular cruise control as well as our adaptive controls for the center stack. And then you've got your regular stocks there. And then we've got this partially analog, partially digital gauge cluster. Nothing too big in terms of changes here with this. So it shows you different vehicle information, lets you know if the sway bar is connected or not, all that kind of stuff. And then this one has both cameras, so front and rear. You got the zoom function too. But yeah, really good resolution. And then we've got the new screen just like in the Wrangler. Uh, response time with it's pretty good. Uh, it does happen to have dual zone climate. We have heated seats and a heated steering wheel which is another great feature and again overall easy enough to use. Tons of controls down below. So we've got this for the climate and the radio, your heated seats, so shortcuts to all of that. Your offered cruise control, stability control, it's for the auto stop start if you want to turn that function off. All of your window controls and then this is the charging stuff around it and then this does have front and rear locking differentials. It'll focus on it. There we go. And then we've got our Offered Plus as well as our Sway Bar Disconnect, Auxiliary, 
buttons there to add different items. And then this does have a two-speed transfer case, so it's four-wheel auto, which is a nice thing. And then we've got our shifter here for the eight-speed automatic. Some cup holders, we've got the little parking brake there. And then yeah, good storage space in the center console, USB, nice padding and stuff on the top. And then look at the trim across the dash. I think that's all really nice. And then got the new grab handle. Yeah, pretty good. The glove box. And then we do have the new top insulation with this. And then yeah, it's got the normal top where you can take it off easily with those little levers. So this one is a Rubicon X. Um, you can see the base MSRP, and then the X package is a $10,000 upgrade on top of that. And you've got all the other packages that this comes with as well. And uh, those mud train tires for running just under 500 bucks. Total MSRP, $69,705. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood. Both of the mirrors do have blast warning. Throw the rest of the rear. And, well, let us set off in the new Gladiator. So just like the Wrangler, this has the treatment of making it so that it's more insulated, or at least that's what they say compared to before. So we get the windshield antenna, which again, uh, if you can get a warrant, if you can get a windshield warranty, I would get a windshield warranty because yeah, these, these upright windshields, they just get rock chips like crazy, and that is definitely more expensive to replace. But yeah, this V6, it's got some pep. And with the Rubicon, you've got a 4.1 axle ratio, so that kind of helps out with the off-the-line feel. And the suspension's pretty comfortable. Now, with the mud terrain tires, you do hear them right off the bat. That's the thing about mud terrain tires, is they look really cool, but they are noisier compared to all-terrain tires. And I would say that they're not as comfortable because you just kind of, you feel the knobs digging into the pavement. So it creates a little bit of harshness. Yeah, the eight speed's great. I think it's crazy they charge 2,500 bucks for the, from the manual to the automatic. It's such a big price premium. This new trim is, it's, it's interesting. I don't know, like, let me know what you guys think, but like, it's super, super smooth to the touch, which some people might like that. I kind of more of like a rough textured person myself. I guess I'm a little bit hard on the edges. <laughs> so this is kind of like, I'd rather this trim on the side be all over everything. I don't know, that's just me. But you know, they've got a, they've got a appeal to the soft hands for the mall crawling, mall crawling community. <laughs> so they gotta have soft trim for their soft hands. Okay, I'm done. I'm done, I promise. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's kind of get like a mini acceleration here. It, I mean, the, we're at we're at over four thousand feet, and this is moving. It's got it's got pretty good torque. It's got pretty good torque. And let's punch it. Gotta let off. We got a slow Hyundai in front of us. It's Hyundai Monday. Yeah, I mean if. It, it's still a V6 at the end of the day, and a you know, it's not bad. It's 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 competitive. I just drove the new Tacoma earlier today, and I will say that that new four cylinder has got pretty good, pretty good low end torque. Whereas this, you got to get into it a bit more. So there's a difference. Also, that is fogging up like crazy. So let's let's defrost that a little bit. So to sum things up here with the. Gladiator Rubicon X. Really nice interior. Uh, I think it drives really well. And again, it's got all the same improvements from the Wrangler. I think the improvements are going to be great for daily driver use and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I think that Wrangler people might have gripes with some of them, like, I should say Jeep people rather, like the windshield, right, being a more expensive part to replace it when you do have to replace it, because you will have to replace it. It's a Jeep. It's an upright windshield. It's going to happen. Uh, and seventy thousand um, dollars. I mean, it's not as crazy as the price increases with the Wrangler because when the Gladiator first came out, because um, I was I was here uh, when the Gladiator first came out, um, I sold a what was it a first launch edition, and that was like sixty two thousand dollars. So I mean, this has increased in price since it came out, but 
this is not like what seven thousand dollars more expensive than back in 2019 so not as i mean that's still an increase don't get me wrong but it's not as big as what you've seen with some other some other vehicles anyways let me know what you guys think about this gladiator rubicon x